From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Violet Skybor. Welcome back, everyone. A strong weather system moves in for the start of the week, but we're not going to get really heavy snow until Tuesday. Tomorrow, just looking at some light flurries. A live look outside from our Cavi Tower Camp tonight. Quiet weather. The snow is not here yet, and it doesn't look to arrive for your morning commute, so we're not going to expect any issues there. But the heavy snow really arrives Monday night and into Tuesday, and we have a winter storm warning for this for Lewis, Oneida, Herkimer, and Madison counties. This warning runs from Monday morning till Tuesday afternoon, but again, the biggest threat is going to be Monday night and Tuesday morning. So what we can expect from this system, we're going to get two rounds of snow. The first one is going to be starting tomorrow morning right around 9, 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. That will be widespread light snow, not expecting really much of an accumulation from that. Now, the second round of snow that we're going to get, that's what we need to worry about. That starts Monday night until Tuesday afternoon, and the heaviest snow is going to be in the morning on Tuesday, with even some sleet and freezing rain in the southern valleys as well. Overall, by Tuesday afternoon, when this comes to an end, the greatest snowfall accumulation is expected in the north country, and the greatest ice accumulation will be in the southern valleys. They're going to see some pretty icy roads. But outside right now, nice and quiet from our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 radar. Light snow is off to the west, and this is going to move in starting late tomorrow morning. Again, this is the first round of snow. We will get a second round of snow looking towards Monday night and into Tuesday. This one is going to contain heavy snow. As you can see, some dark blues mixed in here, and also some pinks and purples. That's sleet and freezing rain. That's also going to move in on Tuesday as well. So that looks like the day we're going to see some pretty tricky travel. For tonight, nice and dry, dropping down into the teens with cloudy skies. Starting tomorrow, chilly, but we won't be dealing with that snow for your morning commute. The snow arrives late in the morning, becoming widespread by noon and continuing into the afternoon, eventually fizzling out by the evening with a, a gap of drier weather in between the first and the second round. So how much snowfall we can expect tomorrow? Just a trace to two inches, and the two inches will most likely be in the higher elevations of the North Country and the Southern Valleys. Now as we look towards Monday night, the snow once again becomes widespread and it will be quite heavy with even some sleet and freezing rain southward. And this is actually looking to trend further and further northward. We could see some of that sleet and freezing rain in the Mohawk Valley. So when you're heading out for your morning commute or for lunchtime, watch out for icy roads and also some snow covered roads as well. How much we can expect in terms of snowfall quite a bit on Tuesday, 8 to 12 inches, maybe even more in those highest elevations of the North Country, 6 to 8 inches for the Mohawk Valley and most of the Southern Valleys, 4 to 6 inches the further south you go where that snow will be mixing in with rain and also ice as well. Here's how much ice we could get from that freezing rain and sleet. Around a tenth to a quarter of an inch of ice. And that really is a lot. And that's enough to bring some down some trees, power lines. Could even see some very hazardous road conditions as well. You don't want to be traveling unless if you have to. Tonight, dropping down in the teens with cloudy skies. Tomorrow, light snow, but it will be widespread. Highs in the mid-20s. But a better chance for snow arrives on Tuesday. Again, heavy snow and sleet and freezing rain in the morning on Tuesday, eventually coming to an end by the afternoon, with nicer weather looking towards Wednesday, partly sunny skies. However, the foul weather returns again, looking towards Thursday and Friday. But if you like the snow, then we will be getting some good news for you. We're looking to get a second round of snow for Thursday and Friday. Then eventually, the sunshine does return as we look towards Sunday. And temperatures stick around in the 20s pretty much all week long. Jolene? Thank you, Violet.